Hi everyone, I'm Trevor Schmidt, author of the Corsair Uprising series. Today we're going to be talking about setting the scene. Whether you're writing a novel, story, or screenplay, this is a part of the writing process I can't emphasize enough. So let's get into it. Step 1. Know your characters. This sounds like a no-brainer, but I don't know how many times I've been reading a book and thinking a character's actions aren't consistent with their past actions. So the first step is to know your characters and to know what they do or how they'd react to different situations. Step 2. Don't waste time. I may be a bit biased as a concise writer, but I think writing 19 pages describing someone's descent down a staircase is a little much. I suggest jumping right into the action, giving the reader enough to go on, but finding that sweet spot where they fill in a couple of the blanks themselves. I think readers today want something fast-paced and exciting. There's definitely a time to deliver backstory, but that's not at the expense of the flow of your writing. Instead, it should be used to augment your writing. Which brings me to step three, the first appearance. Remember that time and place for backstory? Well, that time and place is the first time the reader sees a new character. I suggest one to two paragraphs up front with physical and personality descriptors, maybe a couple of unique identifiers that set them apart from other characters, and then just sprinkle a couple of tidbits throughout the rest of the novel that adds a little bit more depth to the character. If you do this right in the beginning, when you mention a unique character identifier later on in the novel, it'll bring back a flood of information to the reader. Step four, setting. Like the first appearance, the first time a reader sees a new place, there should be adequate description. I say adequate description because every writer is going to have a different idea in their mind of what that means. If you're writing epic fantasy, that could mean quite a bit of detail, whereas if you're writing science fiction, sometimes you can get away with a bit less. Some writers can get out a thought in a couple of paragraphs. Others, not so much. Step 5, the senses. This is something I usually add later because I'm actually not thinking about it at the time. I might save an entire read-through at the end just for adding smell and taste and the other senses. Some may argue against this method, but I'm actually kind of a write the guts before the skin kind of guy, which I'll talk about in a later video. I actually find it easier to get a decent variety this way, because then you're not finding out at the end that you have a clump of taste and smell descriptors, and then having to go back and make changes. By doing this, you can see where you need those descriptors so you can actually enhance the scene. The senses are something that can really pull a reader into a scene, but at the same time, it's something that can really detract from a scene if you're not careful. Anyone who's read Fifty Shades of Grey knows this struggle. So there you have it, a five-step guide to setting the scene. There are definitely more things that you can do to set the scene, but this is a good five-step guide to get you started. If you have anything you'd like to add or have suggestions for future shows, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to click subscribe down below if you found this video helpful, and stay tuned for more videos where I break down writing, social media, and anything else I feel like into easy-to-follow, no-nonsense steps.